Awesome. Welcome, everybody. Um, we just finished releasing the angels to, um, to stir and go get those that are destined to be here today, even those that are destined to um, listen to this recording at a later time. Um, welcome, everybody. We honor everybody. We release love and shalom to us all. And um, let us begin and engage heaven. So, Father, here we are. And, uh, Father, we, we worship you. We honor you. We love you. We thank you. We thank you for your goodness and your love. And uh, we take our place uh, here in the earth in the multiverse as sons. Hallelujah. And um, I just, I'll just begin um, by framing that uh, we'll fulfill the fullness of what God has for us here today. And that um, I just see us seeing all that God has for us and I'm get, getting understanding of what he would have us to do. Thank you, Lord. And I just see us hitting heaven's bullseye today. Does anybody else want to frame up what you're sensing about our gathering today? I frame up that the will of God would flow through all of us today. Amen. Anybody else? I pray that we would be as one and come into the fullness of Ikad with Father God and with each other as well. Amen. Amen. Oh, there goes patience. Hey, patience. Hello, everybody. Hello, Buttercup. <laughs> Anybody else want to pray? Yes, I want to frame. I don't know what you have said already, but I'm framing oneness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm framing um, everything we are doing with Father to do today in the worst wars. It's going to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Anybody else on that know I got a testimony about Jesus. Uh have great testimony. It, it, oh man, I'm so encouraged. Do you uh was it wasn't it this group um that I shared that dream about the uh the people that were in the cloak of many colors? Was it this group? Yes. Okay. Let me tell you what happened this weekend. I came across some people that were, I knew were um, fruit of that, or that that dream was reflecting. And um, to make a long story short, I met them and I led them in stepping into um, oneness and being, um, apostles of oneness that's what they call them that's what they in the term they ended up coming up and then the holy spirit reminded me that these were the ones in the dream i was like wow god that's so cool and um they and you know it really went off in their spirit you know they were like ding 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 and um man it was just powerful and uh, it made me think of too, because I felt like they had been in a uh, a journey of, you know, a lot of us that kind of went through like a wilderness to get here. Do you remember us talking about that on uh, Wednesday, Lorna? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to share that, just a testimony of um, and fruit of. Well, we had talked about last week. 
Anybody else want to share any testimonies or revelation that they had? That's an awesome testimony. Man, I was so encouraged. I, I was like, wow, God, this is huge. It is. Um, yeah, God is good. It's, it's more stirring about that. And I'm just grateful to God that things are advancing. Because we are advancing. The kingdom of God is advancing. Anybody else? Want to share a revelation testimony? Anything that's on your heart and in your spirit? Feel free. Uh, can I share something very important? And I want to, this is a testimony of whatever we are doing in this group without knowing, but still. Um, the Lord is leading us in such beautiful directions. Uh, if you remember, before I went about three months ago, we had gone to the Mount of Transfiguration in the Health and Immortality Group. And there I saw, I mean, I saw three rings, and when they merged, there was a dust cloud, and I saw something that looked like a David star. But, uh, uh, um, and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a David star. And as I attended a meeting uh, in Barnstable uh, where Nancy Cohen was there, she started explaining about the thing that looked like a David star, but actually it was not. It is called the Merkava. So uh, it was again, and she explained further about this Merkava. So it was so strong that the Lord led me to your group. And from your group, I learned about this thing that looked like a David star, but I was not sure what it was. And later to Barnstable in that meeting where Nancy Cohen explained in detail, in depth, about what a Merkava is. It was amazing. And I want to, I take this opportunity to thank you, Simone and Station. Uh, and I want to honor you for all you have given me so far. It really, really, I was far ahead of people in Barnstable and with other ministries when I spoke to them. My level of understanding was far greater and higher because of all you have given me as fathers. Thank you so much. Welcome back, Sonika. Hello. I'm so hi, I'm so excited to be back, patient. Thank you so much. Me too. Happy to have you back. <laughs> awesome testimony. Yes, awesome testimony too. Hallelujah. That's so interesting because we um we were just talking about the macabre. Um, I think was that Wednesday night? I'm telling you, the meetings are getting mixed up. <laughs> or yes, it, it, Wednesday. Might, it came up on Wednesday. It came up on Wednesday. Yeah, we were talking mm -hmm. about the. They also call it the God Chariot. Um, God, little G O D. That's a yes. it's a chariot that the little gods ride. That's yes, it's so amazing, and uh, like I was, the whole thing was so powerful. But had I not been introduced that day in the group, I would not have known what it was. It was just so amazing. Thank you. We give God all the honor, praise God, and um, all the glory. Um, let's see. That's, thanks for sharing that, Seneca. That's awesome. Anybody else want to share um, anything on their heart or anything they've experienced or any testimonies? If not, that's fine. Great. Um, Let's see. Um, I did want to put on the recording. Um, I, I, I'm just going to put this on. Uh, um, just again, before we started the recording, we were talking about the uh, California earthquake. And um, Cindy, do you mind saying that again? What you what you uh, what you said before? Um, sure. I was sort of getting 
um, that, you know, I was at first concerned about those of us who are living in that California area. I wasn't quite sure who was in, in the um, area of where the shaking was going on. But uh, what had come to me was that um, the shaking now that w took place was that it was as a result of our prayers and Yeshua doing something even, even in that area. Um, and I know that uh, from our ascensions and the things that God is doing now um, in several nations, he's, he's shaking things up. And he wants to bring the people not to judgment, but to bring the people to himself. And it's time for them to, to look up and to know that, you know, their, their uh, savior has come. Um, so that's what I was getting. And I believe that, you know, what we're doing on the ascensions and how God is going to use us and send us out, um, it's going to really be pivotal in bringing so many in to the heavenly realms and to Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Wow, Cindy, it's interesting you said that because I'm in California, like you all know, and when, um, the past three days, it's been back to back, three of them. Mm. And all of them, I was telling Simone, they were like a roller coaster. Wow. It was a shaking. It was a rolling. It's like you are mm. um, on a roller coaster or you are in a rocking chair. And I was telling somebody that God is rocking us in this chair. <laughs> wow. It, even though it was frightening it was interesting to me it was interesting it, it was very mm. interesting and it was like exciting but when i realized it's an earthquake then the fear started coming in but really my first experience was excitement this is good god is walking me in his uh, walking chair you know Yes, because I, I, I thought of you and I thought of Jill and I, I knew instinctively you guys were going to be okay. I knew you were going to be okay because I knew that God was with you and he was surrounding you and protecting you from anything uh, and everything. Um, but I knew at the same time he was doing something in the people. I, I knew that he, you know, that now was the time and it was a result of our ascensions and prayers um, doing something with the people and with the nation, with the land. And on the 4th of July, no less. I know, I know. <laughs> and, and some people I'm talking to, when this happened, what they were talking about was, we have to get ready. Mm. They use those words, we have to get ready. Some of them were talking about physical kits. Get a kit, get some food, get this and that. But others were talking about we have to get ready because God is doing something. Not me saying it, them saying it. Mm. So you, you're really on top of it. Mm -hmm. And the last mm. one that happened, I was talking to uh, Bon Sue. She's not on the call today. We were chatting and it happened. And I was on my bed and I told her that an earthquake is happening. My bed is rolling. She said, really, precious. Let's pray. It's something like that. <laughs> and I said mm. it as well. <laughs> It is. Wow. Yes. You know, Amazing. Vansil is on the call, patient. Oh, Vansil, you remember? That's two days ago. But I don't think she's... She, she heard me. Hi, Vansil. She might be busy doing something. Um, and then I was, I was sharing, too, before the call came on. Uh, we saw in the spirit of uh, and this is a, it's a good thing. I saw a bomb go off, a big mm. bomb. And um, yes, I, I, I'm, in, I'm detect well, I feel the frequency about it again. And so I'm detecting that God is about to, is, is up to something. And what I sense is that it's going to bring oneness in the nation. And so, um, so when the bomb went off, what did you sense? Immediately, was it? Uh, well, that's what I was saying. Of fear or no? What, um, no. Uh, in that, in that whole, in the conversation that I was having, I was. Uh, it was all about oneness, and we started talking about that earthquake, and then seeing that bomb go off in the spirit. It's a big bomb, 
and I and I detected that God was about to do something that was go that was good, and it was going to um, bring oneness in the nation. And evidently, it's going to be something really big. And, but in the end, it's going to bring the nation to, uh, in, into it. It's going to bring it's going to bring about oneness. That's what I got. So I I'm excited I'm ex uh, I'm excited about it too, and again for those that may not know the Fourth of July is a big holiday in the United States for those that listen to the recording later, and um, it's um it's the basically in a nutshell the birthday of the nation becoming independent. So, Amen. Um, okay, and, and, and anybody want to share anything else they experienced or saw this last week or anything? I just want to say my dreams have gone to another level. I'm having dream after dream after dream, which speaks to me how things in the spirit have definitely gone to the next level and stirred up. Is there anybody else having a lot of dreams or a lot of activity um, in the heavenly realms and stuff? Anybody else? Well, I am. I, I am, Simone. It's so amazing that um, uh, I was in the, it was staying with somebody that my spirit, oh, I was sleeping, but my spirit was in some, uh, in the lounge and I saw two women walk in and uh, and then I rebuked these two women, and it was so amazing that I can, you know, uh, through dreams and visions, while my body is asleep, my spirit is very, you know, all of a sudden started getting very active. And I often see myself flying over moors and countries and rivers. It's amazing. They are, wow. they are in dreams. And so I'm not very sure whether they are dreams or not, but it's very much like it is happening, though my body is at rest. My spirit is very active. It sounds like it's the night watch. You know, the, oh, maybe. <laughs> the, you know, the night watch, it, 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 at first it seems like it's a dream, but just like you said, it actually feels real and it feels like you're really there. And what that yes. is, that's your spirit traveling during the nighttime, going, you know, doing things that God is telling you to do and it could be literally all over the world yes and, it is yeah so well, that's like that's exciting that's <laughs> awesome. right. thank yeah. you so much amen awesome awesome wow thank you father um anybody else want to share anything father has been uh opening my eyes up to uh, worldly, worldly events and how our government had operated over the last 40 or 50 years. And I've always had an interest in that. So I think maybe uh, somewhere on my scroll, something to do with that is probably uh, in my future because he's opening my eyes to uh, the way things operate, why things have happened, why things are going to happen, and it's uh, very eye-opening to say the least. Mm. Wow. Awesome. Anybody? Um, oh, let me check. Um, I, go ahead. Go ahead, Mohan. Yeah, I was just seeing a, a fig leaf, a, a yellow fig leaf, uh, seeing, seeing a lot of time. So does this have any significance? Or A yellow fig leaf. Let's ask, the, let's ask and see what we get. Who do you feel to ask, Mohit? You want to ask wisdom or... The Holy Spirit, or who do you feel led to ask? Um, Let's inquire. Uh, Spirit, 
spirit of wisdom, I suppose uh, this. Yeah, I, I, we'll, go ahead. Biblical reference to the the era where uh, there was a tree which was fig tree which was full of leaves, mm -hmm. and it suddenly withered because of uh, Jesus has commanded it. Uh, can I can I say something? As uh, you mentioned about the fig tree, immediately that. That fig tree, which was, uh, you know, it came to my mind. Actually, it was, uh, Jesus didn't uh, command it to die, but it was just that Jesus wanted, it was the time for the tree to fruit, and it did not fruit in its time. Hence, the leaf dry, leaves dried up. And uh, so I think it has some connotation to do with, we, we will definitely ask wisdom, but it has something to do with, uh, the time to operate, the times to bear fruit has come. So uh, I could be wrong, Simone. Am I right? Well, I, well um, I'm resonating with that. Um, I'm resonating with that. That's 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 hitting my spirit right. What uh, what do others feel? What are others sensing? But um, um, yeah. the. Oh. Sorry, the word I heard was um, pleasure. You know what was coming to me? That's that's lining up, Sonica, because what the mandate that we've been hearing recently is, is it's it's time to go out. I know that's one thing we've been hearing. And, yes, yes. And it's very clear that God is saying it's time to reach out um and and the, we've been seeing harvest big time and we've uh even seen amos nine so yeah i would agree with that Simone, you know what came to me um when i think of a, a yellow fig leaf it's normally the time like our autumn now with all the fig leaves have dropped off so it's like the end of one um season and the beginning of a new season. That's good. Uh, uh, the, uh, could you pronounce your name for us? Um, Delisha. It's, it's Delisha. It's Delisha. Great. Okay, I wanted to make sure I was saying it right. I wanted to add you. Okay, that's a beautiful name. Thanks for saying that, Delisha. And, um, and in autumn is usually harvest time, right? Is that correct? Am I correct? I'm not a farm girl. But usually autumn time is harvest time, I believe. Because um, when Delisha said that, that's what came to me, harvest time. Um, wow. Okay, so let's, let's continue to engage this to see what God is saying about this yellow fig leaf. Anybody else sensing anything about it? Thank you, Father. And I'm, and I'm framing up that we hit um, heaven's highest blueprint for us today. Um, Cindy said, yes, um, Seneca, that resonated with me as well about the fig tree. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Lord. Father, what is it that you want us to know about this yellow fig leaf? Is there anything else, and what would you like us to do concerning it? Don't disregard anything. Uh, let's just flow with the Spirit. And we welcome it all men in white linen right now. We welcome the assistance of the angels. Ooh, I felt the frequency on that. And we welcome um, wisdom in the seven spirits and the seven handmaids. We receive all tutelage, all instruction, all help from the Godhead from heaven. We engage you right now. We entangle you. Thank you, Father. 
Thank you, Lord. Let's, I'm getting to put our scrolls together. Um, uh, yes. And uh, may I add, I'm so sorry, Simone, to cut in, but I got that this leaf was the leaf for the healing of nation. Mm. And the yellow color, I think, is the, is the, is the spirit of counsel, which, uh, like you are saying, that we need to get together and, you know, realign our scrolls together. And we need to interact more with wisdom and counsel to know what exactly the Lord has for us for, um, by revealing this leaf, which is for the healing of nations. Okay. I'm, thank you for saying that, Seneca. I was getting something similar, but you know, an actual, I believe the, the, yes, the color yellow is the spirit of understanding and the spirit of excellence too. Um, I think the spirit of counsel is green, but that's good, but that's okay. Um, can somebody check that for me just to make sure? But that's what I, uh, I was getting the spirit of understanding. Like it, um, the yellow one, isn't it the spirit of wisdom? Say it again. The, the yellow color, is it the spirit of wisdom? Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up, and we'll make it clear. Okay. Thank you for. Um, I think waiting. it's understanding. I yeah, think. I think it's understanding in the spirit of excellence. The spirit of understanding, and the spirit of X. I mean, then the. Um, hold on. Let me just. Pull Now, I'm sure it on the screen so everybody can see it. I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to have to make my own chart for this. Um, okay, can you all see my screen? Yes. Okay. So here's the, here's yellow, the spirit understanding. And then we got further revelation that the, um, the handmaidens are paired with each of these. And this, the, uh, the handmaiden that's paired with the spirit of understanding is the spirit of excellence. Um, so the spirit of understanding, okay, so that's good. Is anybody else getting anything else about this? Oh, so, Again, what Seneca was saying, which I think is very key, um, is that this leaf is for the healing of nations and that we're going to get understanding um, concerning bringing healing to the nations. Is that what you said, Seneca? Yes, I did. Yes, that's what I said. You're okay. right. Awesome. Awesome. Was, um, is everybody in agreement with that? Does anybody have anything else to add to that? Let's see. Okay, great. Let's see. Let's, let's see what else, anything further that we need to do concerning this. Thank you, Father. Remember, every joint supplies um, just flow. Don't dismiss anything, even if it seems completely different from what we've said to this point. Uh, I saw the tree of uh, life, and I saw uh, the roots having silver color they, they were absorbing the silver colored water from the underground and it was it was moving towards the tree towards the stem and the leaves of the tree it, it was kind of a mercury not exactly water 
Uh, I don't know how to do this. It was a tree of life, healing of the nation. So you saw the tree of life and you saw the roots and they had like a mercury color, is that right? No, they were absorbing something from the soil which was mercury, yeah, kind of silverish. Okay, okay, thank you for clarifying that, thank you. Thank you. Anybody else want to share what they're receiving? Man, I feel my spirit stirring about this. Oh, Cindy wants me to post this chart to the chat, sure. This is, um, this chat, I mean, this, this is from, uh, just to give him credit, from Mike Parsons' website, Sons of uh, Issachar. There you go, Cindy, I just posted it. And Ian Clayton has one, um, similar to it it just it has a rainbow on it. it but it says the same thing so I give mike parson any credit in clayton credit for these um just diagram can anyone hear me now we can Okay, I, I, what keeps coming to me is a season of newness, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, what's that song by Hezekiah? I think it's his, uh, Isaiah Hewton. He says uh, that song, "He makes all things new," <laughs> and that's what's coming to me. He's uh, uh, um, he sings that song too. It's a new season. It's a new day too. He sings that as mm -hmm. well. When you said that, that was the one that came to me. That's awesome. Wow. Well, you know, we've gotten a lot about this fall coming up. You know, the September time and the Feast of Tabernacles. That's what's coming to me. But this may be some more detail, more information about that. And uh, um, I don't want to say too much. I don't want to fear the encounter a particular way and want it to flow natural and organically. Anybody else want to share what they're seeing and sensing? Um, I see a, a, an angel being released and we need to know what the name of the angel is and we need to release this angel for the healing of the nation. I saw this angel uh, with the yellow colored leaf. Mm. Okay, let's ask what this angel, who this angel is, everybody. Who are you and why are you here?
I heard um, it's for the rest. It's for the restoration of all things. Anybody else want to share what they got? Let's put the pieces together. Oh, I heard Revelation chapter 4 verse 1 and I'm trying to read what it is. Uh, it says, uh, after these things I looked and behold a door standing open in heaven and the first voice which I had heard like the sound of trumpets speaking to me said come up here and I will show you what must take place after these things awesome I'll bring that up on the screen Okay. Anybody else? God, we thank you that every joint supplies. Even if it seems like it's in a totally different direction. Just flow and release what God has given you. The words coming to me, heavenly glory. Heavenly glory. Amen. Periods of quietness are okay if it's just engaging. I'm getting that as the season changes, uh, people have to change from the old religion and laws. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I think it is also the rewiring of old mindsets to the new uh, mindsets of changing our DNA and aligning our DNAs to that of God. And uh, that has been, um, you know, that has been a prophecy and also the declarations of most of the reading. Uh, people who keep on visiting heaven is the realignment of our thought processes from old to new and the furthering and uh, you know al aligning our DNAs to that of Jesus so that we become one with him. That's good, Sonica. And uh, Sheila in chat says, I hear it's harvest time. That's good. I, I was getting the same thing too earlier. It's harvest time. I agree with that, Sheila. And you know, my focus is going to the, ooh, wow, I felt frequency on that. Just even starting to talk about it. I feel a focus on the yellow fig tree leaf again. 
and just the function, I mean, the, uh, the process of what's happening. You know, in the fall, the leaves turn colors and then they fall off. And it's, and you know, there's a death process that comes, that's about to come through the winter. Um, but in the, but what's happening is a way it's being made for the new to come. And um, so when you all were, when Mohit and uh, um, Seneca were saying that, that's what I saw, uh, how the yellow leaf is about to fall off in terms of the process of what happened in the fall. And then there's a, a period where, you know, everything dies on the trees and stuff. But what's coming is, um, Newness. That's right. So we're about to see a, uh, a pro the process of new coming uh, beginning in the fall. I'm Anybody? not too sure. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Alicia. I'm not too sure if this has got any relevance, but the strangest thing is with the, to me with the fig tree is, is the little figs start coming out before the leaves. That's interesting. Simon, does this fig tree also have a reference to Song of Songs? Because uh, there's a song that is coming to my mind again and again. Lover of my soul to the Song of All Songs. Oh, yeah. Um, um, oh, I know which song you're talking about. Sing it again, Sonica. Dance with me, of my soul, to the song of all Behold, it says, Behold, I come over the mountains. Oh my God, Karaba Masha. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, yes, thank you. What, what is that saying to you, Sonica? What are you getting on that? Oh, I'm getting that. Uh, uh, it, it's a time of new revelations. It's a time of new frequencies. It's a time that the, that the bride and the groom himself is coming to tell us that I am leading you towards the healing of nations. You don't need to worry. The old is gone and new has come. Oh my God. It's a new, it's, it's an elevation in our status, in the elevation and rise in whatever we are doing. And he's prepared us for that. It's time for the bride to do the good. And I keep seeing this tree with this mercurial water seeping into the stems, from the stem into the branches and into the leaves. A new life has been infused into this tree. I'm sorry, my family was talking to me. Do you mind repeating that, um, uh, that yes. last it's a... Yeah, yeah. I saw, uh, I saw the uh, silver mercurial water 
being sipped from uh, the soil into the roots and from the roots into the stem and from the stem into the branches and onto the leaves. And it's the time when new things, it's the time a new season, new revelation, new reviving. It's a time when the bride meets the groom. Wow, wow, wow. That resonating strongly in my spirit. Yeah, that is really strong. Um, what I heard was the king is in the field. Wow, you know what? That's interesting. We're coming up on the month, the Hebrew month where that, that uh, happens too in the Hebrew calendar. Isn't that, it might be this month or it might be August. Interesting. But Cindy said on chat, she's hearing the word rebirth. So we're seeing this, um, this new beginning. We're seeing this uh, connection of Jesus and the bride and this new that's coming. What uh, what are we seeing that God is? Is anybody sensing what God is wanting us to do here? I did not get another scripture in Song of Songs, um, in chapter eight, where it says, "Who is this coming up from the wilderness, leaning on her beloved?" Mm. Amen. Yeah, I totally resonate with that. I totally resonate. So, yeah. That's good. Patience, uh, your phone was giving a lot of feedback. So I muted you, but um, feel free to talk to everyone. Yeah. You said it really well. Okay, she'll, she'll speak in a second. Um, wow. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody sensing what God is um, leading us to do here? I believe there's an act here that we were to release or to foster. Or I don't know, I'm just sensing, I'm trying to detect here. Anything else anybody want to share? Oh, Sonica put something in the chat. King James Bible, the fig tree put forth her green figs and the vines with the tender grapevine, a good smell. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. Oh, wow. That's pretty strong. That's is that that was out of Revelations two. Let me see. Let me pull that up. Yes, it is from Revelation two. Okay. Let me pull that up. I'm gonna pull that up on the screen too, because. Um, what verse is that, uh, Seneca? Um, anybody know what verse that is in Revelations 2? I'm trying to find it.
Is that Revelations 2 or is that Song of Solomon 2? It's, it's Song of Solomon 2.13. So sorry, not Revelation. Okay. Song of Solomon 2.13, yes. Okay, no problem. I was like, I, was like, I think that's Song of Solomon. Yeah, please forgive me. I, it just, I was so engrossed in the, in the verse that it just, I typed out the wrong one. It's Song of Solomon 2.13. No problem. Okay, two thirteen. Okay, so the fig tree puts forth her green figs, and the vines with the tender grapes give a good smell. Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. Wow. Um, I'm also getting like many are coming out um, of their wilderness experience. Many are coming out of their desert experience they, and they, their eyes are being opened and they're leaning into Jesus. So it's a new season for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, I'm resonating with what Cindy had said. Thank you for that, Delisha. I'm resonating with that big time because that lined up. Woo, wow, so strong frequency on this. Um, this big birthing is, there's a big birthing about to happen in uh, the fall. So I feel like this is aligning with that. And, you know, what we saw, to, again, the harvest. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Hey, can you say that one more time what you saw, Delisha? I said, um, there's a, uh, what I was seeing is a, a lot of people coming out of the wilderness experience, coming out of the desert, and uh, Leaning, leaning in, their eyes are being opened and they're leaning into Jesus. And it's almost like a new awakening. Yes. yes. And, I, and I feel it in my spirit that we need to release frequencies calling forth the stalwarts, calling forth the forerunners, calling forth the pioneers to come and take their place for a new season to manifest. Oh. Okay. That's, that's our government act right there. That's, that's our response. That's our part to play in this. Um, is everybody in agreement with that? <laughs> And does anybody have anything to add? Uh, yes. Um, uh, can we also add with that, um, that all those who are ready to come in will not be turned aside to any other type of doctrine or um, religious order, but they would come uh, purely to Yeshua, that he, they will heal, uh, hear a clarion call and know that it's him they're coming to. Not new age, not anything else other to the left, to the right, but coming purely to him from all sectors of every community and tribe and nation. Yes, I, I, I resonate with that big time. Um, and, and like Seneca said, the frequency that we're about to release, when you were saying that, Cindy, I heard the scripture... My sheep hear my voice, and the voice of a stranger they would not follow. Amen. Woo. Resonate with that big time. It was, it was some, it's some energy on that, isn't it? I felt it too. Thank you. Lord. Yes, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's good. Anybody else? Uh, we're going to step into this. We're going to release this, this uh, frequency. And if you, feel, if you feel anything to add, just jump in and add. So, Sonica, let's start off with you, and um, you released the frequency, and Cindy, you released that part that you had as well, okay? 
Okay. Yes, so you want me to release frequencies as Nancy Cohen taught us, just as in the sound of a show, shofar. Is that okay? Yeah, as how you feel led to, absolutely. And we'll, yeah. we'll join with you. Yeah, so I release and I, I step into the four faces of the Lord, of, of our God, the, the ox, the eagle, the man, and the lion. I step into this. And I release the frequency into all four directions, calling forth or still or all stalwarts or forerunners or pioneers in all directions, irrespective that they just don't look towards the left or the right and just come towards the call of the Lord, towards these four faces. Come. I release the frequencies of heaven of the four faces of the Lord to all these stalwarts, all these pioneers, or the forerunners to come from all the directions of the world. Come. Amen. Come, come. Yes. Come and be one with us. Come and like arms with us. Come and be one with us, with the Godhead and with all creation. Let us be one. Yes, come. We call you forth. Come and see. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I felt a frequency on that. Yeah. Huge frequency. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Father. And so, Father, we thank you. We just hear a trumpet blast coming forth from Zion. Even now, we hear the, the shofar blowing over the, over the earth, over the entire globe, Father. And we just thank you that you are calling forth the harvest even now, even those who are the remnant. We just thank you, Lord, for the young people, the old people, men, women, every child, Father God, even over the entire earth from every tribe, every kindred, every nation, every um, even those involved in other religions right now. We sound forth the, tr the trumpet, the trumpet blast now that they would hear it and even begin to look up, that they would even sense a stirring even now as this trumpet blast is released. The shofar, the sound of the shofar goes in throughout the entire earth. And we thank you that they are coming forth. They are looking to you, Father, looking to you, Yeshua. The lion of the tribe of Judah is roaring over them and calling them even now. We bless you, Lord. We thank you that they hear. Their ears are being open to hear the voice of the Lord. And we bless you, Father. We thank you. And we are ready to speak what thus saith the Lord, even as you put us in their path. Even as they come to us, Father, we will be ready to engage and ready to shower them with the love of, of the Lord, even in this hour. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Oh, amen. Very strong frequency. Thank you, sister. It was very powerful. Very powerful. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Awesome. Awesome. All along, I have been hearing. Can you hear me? <laughs> Yeah, we can yeah. hear you right now. Yeah, all along I've been hearing um, um, the trumpeting of an elephant. You people couldn't hear oh. me when I was saying it. So um, when Cindy said it, it, she really confirmed it. It was uh, this huge elephant raising its trumpet and giving an amazing trump trumpet sound. And as he, he released the trumpet, what happened was... I felt the same frequency I felt when the earthquake happened. Mm. Wow. Like the place was shaking, rolling. And it didn't sound like scary, but it was a exciting and something good is happening. It's like harvest time, you know? Amen. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Yes. I could hear that elephant trumpeting as you spoke it, Patience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was strong. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, and it's shaking and vibrating the, the whole place. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, 
Praise God. Woo! Well, praise God forever. I was just looking up um, elephant in my dream encyclopedia, and it says invincible, thick-skinned, not easily offended, um, a very big issue, very intelligent, uh, powerful potential, um, enormous prosperity. Another thing about elephants, to me, when I see an elephant, is uh, its four legs are like four pillars. Yeah, it, they are kick, you know? <laughs> it's like a pillar. It's established, rooted, grounded, unmovable. <laughs> and it, it speaks to me of the four faces. Even though it's not the four faces, that's how I see an elephant when... I see a huge elephant in my vision. It speaks to me of the four faces. They are stable. They are rooted. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, and, you know, um, what was coming to me about the elephant is when it comes through the jungle, everything moves out of its way. You know, it's it's a force to reckon with, and it's like a force that can't be stopped. And I think um, that speaks up this this great thing that God is about to do, and um, this new coming and people coming uh, out. I mean, you know, coming out of the wilderness, like Delisha said, and coming into the new. It's nothing that's going to be able to stop it. Hallelujah. I agree with that. And also when an elephant steps out, just one one foot out there shakes the place. Yes. And the other one shakes it again. And mm -hmm. when he trumpets, he shakes the place. Can you imagine? He's all about shaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And so sorry. <laughs> so sorry, someone. So Go sorry, ahead. patience. It's like this is the third time when I need to tell you. And as you were talking about the elephant, the first time you mentioned, I I saw the earthquakes, and that that then I related it to California, and that's how we began, and that's how we are ending the shaking of the earth. The sons of, of God are going to arise, and they're going to shake the world. Oh, oh, I saw <laughs> I saw the elephant Trump. You know it. It, it trumpet and I saw giraffes and lions and and zebras and all kind of beautiful animals walking towards the elephant and the elephant is making the earth move and that is the shaking that that the Lord revealed to us in Revelation that there's going to be a trumpet and that's the trumpet the Lord the Lord revealed in Revelation oh wow everything is just so falling in peace. Thanks. That's so good. Amen. Wow. That trumpet is almost like us trumpeting out the yod hey vav hey. Yes, the four faces. Come on. Yes, and um, that's good, Delisha. And I remember Sonica stepped when she was releasing that, and we were releasing it with her. She said um, she, she was stepping in the middle of, of the four faces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yes. So and I was, listen, I was listening to Ian um, on the second year nest, and he was just saying that they had that meeting in in um, Canada, and they did the yod hey vav hey, and I have never heard such a frequency of yod hey vav hey in all my life. It's just too amazing. I'll I'll try and record it and put it on the chat. Thank you. That would be nice. Hey, do, hey, do you guys want to release it real quick before we get off the call today? Yes, but before that, let me say this. Okay. Did you all know that in the Old Testament, when the high priest had to go to the Holy of Holies and there is no door into it, he stands, he stands behind the curtain. The curtain is way up there. And he says the Yod Heh Bab, he chants it. And as he chants it, the curtain opens by itself. 
the vibration yes. and the frequency form the blue here by here opens up the curtain and he enters and then he closes behind you that is why he has to have the uh, uh, the bells and the boots um on on the hem of his skirt and also a rope attached to him in case he's not able to come back they have to pull him out because he has to come back chanting it again Hey, the door came, um, we, uh, that came up earlier uh, when we read Revelations 4 today, remember? Yes. The, um, that door that Patience is talking about. So I think, I think we should definitely do that. Uh, and also, uh, uh, as we were talking Patience, I was reminded, reminded of Justin Abraham, who said that, you know, when you step into yod he wav he shin and yod he wav he again, you are stepping into uh, the governmental authority and yes. you, are, you are reaching out to different realms and that's what we did i think by you know consciously i stepped into the four faces of god and i released the frequency and uh, i and and that's what you're referring to and i think very i feel it is very strongly in my spirit that we need to step into the yod he wah and shin and then raise the frequency again wow Amen. Amen. We can join any in this one. Amen. Yes. You want, you Hallelujah. Lead, amen. You want to lead us in that, um, Delisha or Sonica? Yes. I'm Delisha gonna use would, yes, do it because you just heard Ian. Yeah, that would be very nice if you could do it, Delisha. Okay. Take a long deep breath. Down this way. Face west. Let if we could physically do it, step step into each each face of God, as in Yod, Hey, Wow, Hey, by taking a physical step forward and then coming back to the center and then taking a physical step forward. I did it myself, and I would encourage you to do it because we are actually stepping into the four faces of God. We are when we are releasing Sonica, the frequencies of. His Sonica, we don't have to do it physically. You know, if you want to do it physically. Physically, it's great, but we don't have to. Yes. We yeah, later, maybe it. when it, yeah. You can just say all, um, say it through, and then in your mind you're stepping into it. But if you yes, want to do it, great. Yes. And then yes, um, we can listen to that recording also later from the chat. Yes. So who's going to lead us through that? Delicia or Sonica? Just say it, and we all say it with you, so that we have that oneness. Okay. So and she's been doing ahead. it with the Nancy Cohen. <laughs> I guess I've been doing it with Nancy Cohen. And yeah. you can you know in your mind you can mind in your mind step into all the four faces of yes, the Lord if you want to. Yes. So I am doing it four, three, two, one. You Oh, 
Everybody wants the Felicia Mohit Kenneth. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for participation. We appreciate you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks a lot. God bless. Bye bye. Bye bye. The recording will be on.